everybody, welcome to another week of Pilates plus Physio exercise class. Uh, today we're going to start off in sitting, so either a stool or something like a dining room chair. Um, so if you haven't got one, pop off and get one and then come straight back. So you want to start off sitting right up on your bottom bones. So you should have got two bones underneath your bottom. Think of them pointing straight down towards the floor. Think of opening out through the shoulders, gently tuck in the chin. Imagine that nice bright balloon coming from the back of your head, taking you up towards the ceiling. So hands on your thighs and just think of sliding your left hand towards your left knee. And as you do that, draw the right hand up towards your hip. And then right hand down to your knee, left hand up towards the hip. So you just want to sort of imagine you're gently smoothing something along the legs. So the shoulders are really turning, but your head stays facing forwards. So keep looking straight ahead, fix your eyes on something out in front of you, it's a spot on the wall or a picture or a light switch or something. Just getting that nice, easy twisting. So twisting through your upper back, nice and smooth. And just see if you're twisting the same amount both sides. So if you imagine a torch beam coming from the middle of your chest, you're sweeping it round the room one way, you're sweeping it round the other way. Head staying to the front. Just sliding your hand as far as your knee. And just getting that nice, lovely one to do if you're sitting at the computer a lot of the time, or sitting doing something. Great, okay. And then just put your hands over the front of your knees now. So that last exercise, we were twisting the top half of your body. Now we're gonna think about twisting from the pelvis. So hands over the front of your knees. Imagine you're in the cinema and you're just gently gonna push your knee into the seat in front of you. The person in front's being a bit irritating and you're just gonna give them a gentle knee in the back. So just press one knee forward and draw the other one back and then switch them over. So you're pushing your knee forward into your fingers. One going forward and then the other. So you're getting that rotation from just below your waist. One side of the pelvis comes forward, the other one comes back. Really important movement for normal walking. So when you walk, the top half twists one way, the bottom half twists the other way. Just keep going with that a little bit longer. You're still sitting right up on your bottom bones. Going a couple more. Lovely, good. Come back into the middle. Sit nice and tall, feet down flat. Put one fist right in the middle of your chest. So find your breastbone there. Imagine you've got one of those big torch beams shining straight out in front of you from, from your fist, okay? And you're just gonna take that beam around to your right, maybe. And then you're gonna take that beam around to your left. So this time your head can move and take the beam right round the room. See if you can get to the corner. And you're coming all the way back around the other way. So we're really working on lots and lots and lots of twisting today. And then think of taking that beam right down sort of between your knees and then take it along the floor, up the wall in front, up towards the ceiling. And then come all the way down, right down, right down, right down between the knees again and then all the way back up again. Okay, when you're up, then think of taking the beam along to the top corner of the rim. And you're gonna go right the way down the wall there. Go along the floor to the other corner. All the way back up. And then come down that corner. And how about diagonally? up to the opposite corner, across the top. So you can go anywhere you want to, just really see if you can get into those tight, little stiff areas through your upper back. You might come back into the middle 
and really stick your chest out in front of you and then draw your chest back in and again stick the chest right out so you're almost pushing that beam out in front and drawing the chest back in and going again maybe going up into the corner that's often a really stiff place down to the bottom corner up one wall again and then all the way back down great okay come back into the middle maybe just give the shoulders a bit of a circle and a shrug and then come down so that you're lying on the floor get rid of that for a minute so lying down on your back Knees bent, feet flat, arms out to the sides in a nice sort of like a capital T shape, palms facing up. Just let everything sink down into the floor a moment. Just gently focus on your breathing. Just slow your breathing down, maybe think of breathing in for four. And breathing out for four. And again, breathing in for four. And breathing out. Good. So knees together, arms out to the sides. Feel the back of your shoulders on the mat. And we're just going to take the knees over to one side, turn your head the opposite way. And then you could turn your palm down on the hand you're looking at. And come back to the centre. So legs going to the right, head to the left, left palm down onto the floor. And come back to the centre. Legs going one way, head the opposite way, palm down. And come back. So you're twisting the arms and you're twisting your lower body and you're twisting through the neck. So just nice and smooth going from side to side. Palm down on the hand you're looking at. Back of your shoulders staying fixed onto the mat. So you could stick with that, especially if your back's a little bit stiff. Those who want to make it a little harder, slightly flatten your back into the mat. Float one leg up, float the other leg up. So hips at a right angle, knees at a right angle. You want to watch that you don't just let the feet sort of dangle. And keep going, knees side to side. So you probably find you get less movement uh, with the legs off. So the twisting is sort of slightly happening slightly higher up your body, I think. So keep the knees stuck together. Knees going one way still, head the opposite way. Palms down on the hand you're looking at. Lovely, and come back into the middle, gather up the legs, cross the ankles, hang onto your knees. A little bit of gentle knee rocking, knees to your chest. Just rocking up and down with the knees. Just release through your back a little bit. Great, okay. Pop the feet back down. Hands underneath your head. You can have your thumbs sort of just right underneath your skull there or going down the back of your neck a little bit. You could just get your thumbs in underneath your skull and just give a little bit of a sort of deep massage into that area. It often gets really tight. Again, especially if you're on the computer a lot of the time, if you're a bit stressed, just get your thumbs in. If you can find a tender spot, really dig in on that a little bit. Okay, so hands underneath your head and then just take your elbows up towards the side of your head. So elbows pointing at the ceiling and then let them drop all the way back to the floor if they will. And again. Elbows up to the roof, let them drop right back, and again, 
elbows up, let them drop right back. So we're going to do an oblique curl up. If you've got a sore neck and you don't want to do lifting your head, you could do some of the knee rolls from side to side like we've just done. So tuck in the chin, engage your pelvic floor muscles, draw in the lower tummy, and you're thinking of coming up and across, front of your shoulder towards the opposite hip, and release down, and on the other side, up and across. So one elbow is staying back on the mat, other one staying back where you can hardly see it. So you don't want the shoulders doing anything much, just using your hands to take the weight of your head a little bit. You can make it a little bit more complicated by taking one leg down the mat as you come up and across. So if you bring your left shoulder up and across, you're sliding your right leg out. Right shoulder up and across, slide the left leg out. Left shoulder up and across, slide the right leg down. You can either have your heel on the ground or just an inch or two above. Crisscross tummy muscles doing the work here. So they're the muscles that really control that rotation, that twisting movement. Oh, the dog is snoring so much. <laughs> so obviously she's completely bored with Pilates. She's having a good sleep. Lovely, okay, rest your head down. Maybe just take your nose in little tiny circles. So about the size of a golf ball. Little circles going around one way, little circles going around the other way. Great, okay. Slide one leg right down flat. And think of your toes pointing up towards the ceiling and then just let your leg flop outwards and then bring the toes up and turn them inwards. So keep the leg nice and heavy on the ground. So you're almost thinking of your leg like a rolling pin. You're rolling it in and then you're rolling it out. So it's quite a subtle exercise. You're getting that deep rotation right up in the hip. So you could think of your foot as a bit like a windscreen wiper, going one way and then the other way. Most people you'll find you go out further than you can go in. Good. And then draw that leg up, slide the other one right down, toes up towards you, and just let the leg roll out, and then you're rolling it in. So don't don't work so hard that the back of your bottom comes off the ground because then obviously you're not just rotating in the hip, you're getting the pelvis moving as well. So the back of your pelvis stays heavy on the floor. Just rolling the leg out and rolling it in. So remember, nearly all joints have got a sort of twisting element to them. They're not just bending and straightening, not just straight hinges. Nearly every joint's got a, a rotatory element to it. That's good. Okay. And then, uh, turn over onto your side. You probably need to rest your head on something. So either your brick or nice big fat book or a little pillow. So turn onto your side, hips and knees bent, both arms out in front of you, big gap between your ear and your shoulder. We're just doing an arm opening, so make sure you've got room behind you. You're taking the top arm all the way up, right the way over, and come back. Sore shoulders, you could rest your hand on your forehead and do it that way. So. Again, it's twisting that top half of your body. The arm is just sort of giving you a little bit of direction. So don't worry if you don't get to the floor behind you. Knees staying together, underneath legs stuck on the ground. So again, you're just isolating that movement to the joints you want to get moving. Could combine it with your breath. 
So maybe breathe in as you open. And breathe out as you come back. And again, breathe in to open. Imagine you're painting that lovely big rainbow off on the roof. And come back. And just go one more. Big breath in. Right down. Bottom of the ribs. And back. Fantastic. Okay, maybe keep the arms out there. Hips and knees bent. Heels about in line with your bottom. We're going on to do a clam. So heels stuck together, top knee up and down and then keep the knees stuck together, lift the top foot up. So heels together, lift the knee, knees together, lift the foot. So underneath leg, just resting on the floor, just watch you're not pushing into the floor with the underneath leg. Top knee up and down, foot up and down. Top knee up and down, foot up and down. Great, that's good. Okay, turn over onto the other side. So I'm gonna stay on this side so then I'm still looking at you, but turn onto the other side. Arms out in front, hips and knees bent, Heels about in line with your bottom. So, other arm on top. Breathing in, top arm all the way up and over. Think of painting that big rainbow on the roof. Just go as far as you're happy. See if you're going as far this way as you were on the other side. And come back. And again, breathing in, top arm up and over. And come back. So knees stuck together. Watch that the underneath leg isn't lifting away from the floor. And come back. And again, so turn your head, follow your hand with your head. So you're not sort of painting the wall behind you without looking at it. Nice one, really opens out through the front of the shoulders, front of the chest. And just going one more. Lovely, that's great. Okay, hands back on top of each other. We're going from there to the clam. So keep your heels together. You still really roll forward. Lift the top knee up, pop that knee down. Take the foot up. So heels together, top knee going up, knees together, foot up. Heels together, knee up, knees together, foot up. Should be side of the buttock here, side of the thigh doing the work. the one you're doing and then turn over so that you're lying on your tummy. Uh, hands together underneath your forehead. Take your legs quite wide, so probably about as wide apart as your mat if you can. Your knees about as wide apart as your mat. Bend the legs up, put your heels together. So heels stuck together, shoulders nice and relaxed, forehead on your hands. This is just a squeeze. So. Clench your bottom, press the front of your hips into the mat, push your heels together hard. Hold there and let go. So squeeze your buttocks, could gently draw your lower tummy away from the mat, but just watch that as you do that, 
your bottom doesn't go up towards the ceiling. So keep that feeling of pushing the front of your hips down into the ground, squeeze the heels. And just think about the shoulders. The shoulders are not squeezing at the same time as you squeeze your bottom. Press the heels together and let go. And again, bottom, push your heels together hard. And release. Sometimes it's a good one to do if you've got sort of sciatic pain, because sometimes this muscle in your buttock is gripping around the nerve. And if you get the muscle to contract, then you get a maximum relaxation after that. So squeeze and hold. Keep breathing as you're squeezing. And then release. And again, squeeze and hold. And release. And one more. Squeeze and hold. And release. Good. Legs down fairly flat. Hands a little bit, probably just about as wide as the mat. Press into your hands. Come up into like a little cobra. And down. So just getting your back arching backwards. So feet right down flat if you can. That's going to give you cramp and tuck the toes underneath. But otherwise feet flat. So you're just getting gentle backwards arching through your back. Good. And then up onto hands and knees. Knees underneath the hips. Take your knees now as wide apart as your mat. Big toes together. Bottom just straight back to your heels. If your knees don't like that, maybe curl onto your side. And then come all the way up. And now just take yourself in a little circle. So you're going round. Bottom back to your heels round and back up and go the other way come round bottom back to your heels and come back up and then going round the other way bottom back to your heels all the way back up and then bottom right back Creep your fingers over to the right side of your mat. So fingers on the right side of the mat. Breathe into the left side of the ribs. Should be a nice stretch through that left shoulder. And then creep your fingers to the left side of the mat. You could put your right hand on top of your left. Breathe into the right side of the ribs. back into the middle up onto hands and knees and just come over into sitting probably most people are better sitting up on something uh, soles of the feet together oh, it's quite bright out there nice sunny day soles of the feet together just let the knees drop shoulders nice and soft so as you're letting the legs drop down, turn your head to the right as far as you can. Go back to the middle, turn your head to the left as far as you can. Back to the middle, left ear to your left shoulder. And back up, right ear to your right shoulder. And back up. Great, come slowly up into standing. Good, good. So standing, feet, feet one in front of the other. So we're gonna do a little bit of balancing. If your balance isn't great, maybe stand near something to put a finger on. 
So one foot right in front of the other one if you can. If you're very wobbly, you could slightly offset the feet, she says. Focus. So feel the bottom of your feet on the floor. Easier on a hard surface. So if your balance isn't great, maybe come onto the floor. Um, if you want to make it harder, then standing on a carpet or your mat. So one foot in front of the other one. If you feel steady, take one arm up to your head. Other one right up. First arm down. Second arm down. Both arms up in front. And just think of really opening right out through the arms. When you get as far as you can, then take the hands back. As you come forward, think of the wrists coming forward. You would like sort of gathering a great big pile of hay or something in front of you. Opening the arms right the way out again. Hands back. Bring the arms all the way forwards. Great, bring the arms down, swap your feet over. So one foot forward, one back. See if you can look ahead, you know where your feet are. Then right down there on the ground. Feel the bottom of your feet on the floor. So your big toe joint down, little toe joint. See if you can get the weight fairly equal between the two. If you're steady, take one arm up, other arm up. First arm down, second arm down. This time bring the arms up in front. Maybe this time just take one arm out to the side and come back. Other arm out and back. How about turning your head as you take the arm? And back, turn your head as you take the arm and back. Bring the arms down. Those who like a challenge, see if you can shut one eye and open it. Shut the other eye. Open that. Pop your feet back to where they normally are. Stand nice and tall. Really roll the shoulders going backwards. So shrug them right up to your ears, all the way around, back and down. Nice and smooth. Don't worry about the creaking and the crunching. At least it means things are moving in there. And then gently slide the shoulders up and just let them drop. And one more, slide up and let them go. Thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully we can all get together again at some point in the future. In the meantime, keep well and see you soon.